Greetings, my beloved ones. I am Isis. My beloveds, the hope of humanity and this earth lays in this very receptive to the boundless love which is available to you as never before in these realms and dimensions but not just receptivity to the loves my children but in your willingness to further dissolve the egoic boundaries of self to experience the despised of all humanity all of living forms and all of mother earth to each speck of air molecule of water grain of sand hill mountain plain and dell all of the plant kingdom all of the fish and animal kingdom all the structures that you live and work and transport yourselves in and as you would love yourselves in your expanded heart love consciousness so it is that you also love and care for mother earth and each body and aspect upon and of mother earth as you would care for yourselves now in unity with the source of all that is beloveds is the wisdom of love of she who is love the holy mother that brought life life form in all realms and dimensions in the unity of all that is my beloveds is the wisdom love power and technologies of all the combined star systems in this galaxy think not that if all that is in the whole of creation can be made manifest that this same totality cannot rectify the imbalances on mother earth and recreate heaven on mother earth the Creator indeed can accomplish all in the wink of an eye, no matter how clever or knowledgeable or powerful the minions who have operated in this sector of the universe and on Mother Earth think they are. And in divine intercession, the hosts of the Heavenly Mother and Father may intercede in the manner spoken and indeed some of the prophecies would have it as so. But it is the wish of Mother Earth herself to give her children whom she has so lovingly given bodies and so freely of herself in every which way to now graduate to adulthood as it were, to come to terms with what have done they have done to one another and to Mother Earth and through newly expanded knowledge and wisdom to correct these imbalances. Such is the love and grace that is being extended to humanity that the envelope of time has been extended far beyond the original intention for this to be accomplished. So it is that heavenly hosts that are bringing forth the divine plan are lovingly holding Mother Earth as stable as possible, are lovingly assisting in the diffusing of intergalactic and solar bombardments, are loving, lovingly assisting all souls in growth and use of spiritual talents to diffuse stress 
on the template of Mother Earth to minimise earthquakes and volcanic activity. My dear children, would that you receive this great love that pours forth from my heart and being and from the very heart of Gaia. This our blessed Mother Earth, even in her great pain and discomfort, for the deep gratitude that we feel in the tremendous effort that is being put forth on both sides of the veil. To bring this knowledge and wisdom to the leaders of this world and those who have not yet awakened to ascertain the extent of the imbalances and disease created on earth to rectify these imbalances. Then it is that to do this, we ask your receptivity, my beloveds, to continue your journey of releasing the egoic structures of separate based consciousness and remain ever receptive to the boundless love that will lift you into ever higher dimensions into the all that is and the realms of oneness. In this process will be the healing of each soul of any leftover vestiges and desecrations, desecrations still born within the cells and structure of your physical bodies and likewise within the cells of this world albeit there will be countries and the structures the governments and organizations you have learned well my beloveds that as you clear yourselves on an individual level that the outer world follows suit with your attainment of the inner peace will the outer peace follow. Your unified global effects are vastly changing the thoughts and actions of those in governmental positions. Many wars have been waylaid. It is your choice what it is that you will allow to happen in the final moments and gasps of breath of the old order. We see that many choose peace and that your thought form of peace is prevailing. Spirit is assisting in every way possible without direct intervention unless the use of weaponry impacts upon the free will to life in realms beyond the earth. This is the part of the lessons of humanity to be learned in your realm and yet the remaining opportunity to learn is short, very short indeed. Remember always my beloveds that outer peace follows in inner peace and that unified partic participation is effective each additional person participating doubles the energetic field of peace. See how effective each person is. So we encourage each in every way to think peace with every breath. Forgive and understand. Choose peace with every interaction and transaction. Sit in the stillness of the deep peace nightly and thereby you live peace and peace shall be as you declare and are become peace within yourselves. Beloveds we would ask you that you be in remember of the Holy Spirit and the Divine Mother for she's in the dove of the peace the deep peace that knows no ending, the deep peace of oneness. And it is for this reason that every effort has been made to lessen the birthing pangs as we step into the new world. These choices and actions have created the space 
for the return of the Holy Spirit, of the Divine Mother, of all creation. The Holy Spirit of love and peace to come to Mother Earth at this time. Your every thought and act of unselfishness, care and concern, your every choice to forgive old hurts and wounds, your every choice to leave the allurements of the world and choose the inner path of direct connection with spirit, your every choice to live in harmony with yourself, with one another and with Mother Earth, your every choice to open your hearts, to feel love, to receive love, to give love and to be love and all the choices that now have made the way open to the success of ascension to the new earth. Be prepared, my beloveds, for the love which pours forth from my heart is the endless river and is now pouring forth upon Mother Earth. And now it is that shall not be able to exist upon the bosom of our blessed Mother Earth that will not receive this love into their being for she has chosen and so have you. It is your call that I have heard and it is you that I return for you are my dearly beloved and you have called open and ye shall receive. Breathe in and release all the old unwanted pain. Breathe in and go forth in a new way, discovering the bounty of life and love in true simplicity and the respect of all life. Breathe in love. Breathe out love. Receive the unending love and give out this unending love in equal measure. For this is the way of heaven. My beloveds, welcome home. I am Isis at your service and mother's, Mother Gaia service always with love. I thank you for being you and listening here tonight. Namaste. And I also thank you for being here. Rosalie, thank you. Namaste.